Welcome race fans, we would like to thank our show sponsors. Comic Civil for excavation, drainage and earthworks. Redline race cars and roll cages. The great team out of A-Steel powder coaters. Deck your crew out in Crewwear Incorporated. Cash for containers, recycling is important. See Wayne Cover at Coverall Sheet Metal. My Race Setup. Oval Track Diecast and Racing Collectibles. Get your car service now at Ultra Tune in Morley. All your parts can be bought at Michael Holmes Racing Performance Parts. And CB Graphics. Don't forget to subscribe to the DTN channel. In this episode of Speedway, we head to Ellenbrook Speedway, where the Formula 500s come out for the first ever Dirt Track Nutters DTN 500. We would like to thank Hyper Industries for all their hard work and support in getting the Formula 500s out to the racetrack. Well, Glenn Mears, uh, it's great to have Formulas back here for the DTN 500 at Allenbrook Speedway. Yes, it is, mate. Uh, second year in a row. Started a conversation with someone at a, an awards night, and uh, here we are for two years in a row. Who's Big that? turnout this year <laughs> was great. Yeah, no, it is 21 cars nominated. Fantastic. Uh, beautiful sunny day. And you got your work cut out today. You got two cars to look after. I have. I've got two cars to look after. Trust, trust you. Uh, I, I also want to have drive too. So that's the fun part. So I'm in one. Courtney's in the other. A um, bit of appreciation for Courtney through the year, what he does for us. So got him buckled in for the season. And he is pull shop, hiding pull shop, pull shop group. group. Yeah. And yeah, he's hiding over the back. <laughs> he's run off. <laughs> but yeah, mate, it's really good that the um, formula can come out and turn up, and especially 21. Great field. So it's good that we can be able to come out to Ellenbrook and do that. And thanks to the other team and Dirt Track Nutters for getting us on board. Nah, and it's Hyper Industries too. They, they've been a fantastic supporter of this event. Hyper Industries, we'll get them in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Look, Dave in general, um, fantastic what he does for the sport, um, for the division. Um, he's been doing it for years. Bit of an unsung hero in the background. Does so much. Like he, he's crewing for us, as you can see <laughs> today. But. No, he doesn't. He, he goes up and down the pits if someone's in trouble. He dives in there, he helps them out. doesn't matter who they are. He just jumps in and does what he can to get the cars out there, you know. Very passionate about the sport. And it's good to be able to have him behind us as well, you know. So, it's good. All right, mate. We're going to have a great day. Beautiful sunshine. Ripping Elbrook day. Speedway here. You can't get a better racetrack, a better atmosphere and country uh, country atmosphere at a city track. So. How good is that? All right, mate. Best Thanks, luck. Thanks, mate. See ya. Chris Dimmick, you're pretty relaxed ahead of the DTN 500 here at Elbrook Speedway. Yeah, yeah, we're all we're all good to go. So, drivers brief in a minute and um, get suited up, and then we'll we'll uh, yeah go and have a bit of fun. So it should be a good thing. So yeah, obviously massive thanks to DTN and Hyper Industries for um, putting up some some prizes and some money for today, and we've got a really good car turnout. So it should be a good fun day of racing. Yeah, you can't do it without Hyper Industries. Must thank them a lot because uh, they're great supporters. They've had it two years in a row. We're trying to build this event here at Elmbrook. Um, and it's yeah. a great opportunity for you guys to just come out really and have some fun because, you know, with the motorplex in the summer season, it's a lot of pressure and um, a lot of things going on. But here yeah. you can just come relax, have some fun in the dirt. Yeah, that's it. We just come out and have a, have a good fun Sunday. We've got a bunch of new kids that have moved up from juniors. So they're having their first couple of runs in seniors this weekend. And yeah, it should be, should be a good spread through the field and some good, good hard racing as well. All right, mate, I'll let you get dressed because uh, drivers meeting them are suited up, racing at 11 o'clock. Beautiful, thank you. With me is David Hennington from Hyper Industries. Dave, um, thank you for your support out here at Elmbrook Speedway for the Formula 500, DTN 500. Um, it's a great day and a, and a beautiful opportunity for guys to come out and get some laps. Oh, it is, it is, Jason. Yeah, it's a fantastic day. The weather, we're really lucky with the weather, considering the rain we had a couple of days ago. Um, but yeah, really proud to be able to support the event and have the formulas here at Ellenbrook. Uh, really appreciative of DTN support, obviously, and the Ellenbrook Club for allowing the formulas to turn up here. Um, obviously, it's essentially a, a local track for the winter. Um, the facility has improved immensely over the last few years. Um, obviously, the club here have done a lot of work, and uh, like I say, really appreciative that we're here and super proud to be able to give back to the class that has given me so much for so many years. Awesome, mate. Thanks very much, and uh, have a great day. Looking forward to a great day out of here. Thanks. We now go to some highlights for round number one.
we interview the heat winners from round one. Cody Taraccio, good win in the uh, first heat of the DTN 500 thanks to Hype Industries. Car looks pretty smooth mate, he's from the second row, you weren't mucking around. Yeah, no, car was good. Uh, we, we love to come down here, Allenbrook, and uh, have a rip around. We don't often get here, so it's good to come out and um, support the guys that support us, you know. DTN, they put a ton of work into us, so yeah, it's great. Do you change much in the car from the places you've raced in the summer season? No, nah, no, nah, we basically, you'll start with, you know, your base set up every time and just it's just small little tweaks. All right, mate, well, good luck for the second round heats. Cheers, thanks. The old fella getting up on the wheel. Look at how. That was a bit of fun. Yeah, heat winner of uh, second heat here at the Hyper Industries DTN 500. You're getting around there all right? Yeah. I'm glad Chris kind of made a mistake because it kind of helped me get away with a lot more. <laughs> really hard. It was really hard uh, track because it was really greasy on the bottom, really greasy on top. You kind of had to be in between somewhere. So once you picked up the pace, it was kind of hard to know where to be. But that's all right. It was good. Take the win. I'll take it. Start the pole. That was a good one. <laughs> Next one's off the back. So hopefully the track just comes comes back a bit more now. Yeah, it'll start widening up a little bit. Chris was trying the top a little bit. It's not there yet. Not the there. bottom's still greasy. So no. yeah, there's a fine line in between, but you ran that line pretty well. Yeah, it was just, yeah, point it in, see how it was gonna come out. I think every lap I didn't run the same lap once, so every lap was different. So hopefully we get more consistent in the next race and start from the back, see if we can work our way through a bit. Good start. Thanks, mate. To go, Phil. I uh, just change it. It's just pop on the rim, limit it, going into turn three. Just give it another cog. Yeah, give it some more legs. Yeah. Cool, man. All Cheers, bud. Yep, no worries. Brian Mullings, you've been around the sport oh, for 500 years. I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a couple of zeros off that. <laughs> um, yeah. Mate, what are you doing to the car? Uh, at the moment, we're altering the bars. Yep. yep. Just trying to get a bit more uh, grip in the rear yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit more, more right rear. Yeah. A bit more right rear grip, so, yeah. A bit tricky out there. It's a bit no, slick up top and bottom. No, Middle's not too bad. Middle. It's fine in the middle. Yeah. Just got to be in the spot right spot at the right time. That is true. <laughs> Jack will change a little bit, so we'll see yeah. how we go during that. As we do, as we do. All right. No Good problems. luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Jim. Thanks. What's going on, Dylan? Uh, we lost the brake cap and lots of lost a whole lot of brake fluid. So yeah, covered it. <laughs> nah. Not ideal. Cheers, mate. a bit of info what's going on you changed the space room there did you trying to get a bit more rotation or straighten her up yeah just um, get it rotating the corner she's a bit too tight on entry so yep. yeah she's pushing halfway through so yeah long yeah. straights and tight corners here try and correct this one so i haven't driven this car so yeah we'll get this one a go i think each race made me play drop a different car of mine so the kids are all driven it so we'll see if we can get a handle on it yeah get it right so. you have a bit of fun out there the first round yeah, yeah, we sort of steer on a little bit close, change the ignition switch, kept, I kept turning it off, the switch is so close, so just make some adjustments to it to suit me, and yeah, come beach your time, we hopefully, we should be alright. So, Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. Uh, we're just changing the gearing. Yep. Yeah. A bit long in the straights for you? Uh, yeah, I was on the limiter, yeah. so just had to yeah, put another little toothy on him and see how we go on the next one. Oh well, easy fix, hopefully it's good. Yes, that's it.
ran second, you're looking good, yeah. and you're still working on the car. Yeah, it's got to get a little bit more out of it, so change the gearing and yeah, chase the track a little bit, and no, it should be good. I think that's the go. A lot of people changing the gears. They didn't realise how long the straights were here at Elmbrook. Yeah, that's it. So we just changed it up a little bit, and um, I think we're going to come from the back in the next one. So pass a few cars and go forward. Good luck. Cheers. Highlights from the infield in round two. Not the best way to be talking to you right now. What's, what's the go? What happened? Ah, uh, just younger drivers probably overdriving a little bit too hard and just picked me up and fed me in. Got a bit of work to do now, so we'll see how we go. Two complete, we go back to the pit area. Heat three winner Jamie Page is well done, mate. Car, uh, those changes that you started making worked out for you. Yeah, we're just sort of making slow tweaks, haven't driven this car up until today, so um, yeah, so we just keep just changing little things and hopefully, come feature, we read it right and go the right way with it. So, yeah, so but yeah, I love tracks like this, little ball ring, so we've still got long straights, tight corn, corners, but. Yeah, so uh, having a ball. Ah, uh, good stuff, mate. Well done. the special additive food, uh, fuel that you <laughs> told me about earlier? <laughs> yeah, so what I'm doing is putting an extra load of fuel in, slow them up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called concrete. Hey? Concrete. Concrete fuel. Uh, now just filling right to the top. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a Maxi. Yeah. Get tail happy and yeah. spin out. How are you finding it, Chloe? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Second meeting in seniors, so just getting used to the extra pace. Yeah, I was going to say, with um, juniors, you sort of got that conquered now, but now you start right back at the start again. Yes, <laughs> it's very different, but I've got my brother helping me. He's already he won the season in seniors, so he's just giving me a few pointers. So. How are you finding the Ellenbrook track? Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Um, a lot of people sort of see pretty rough and stuff like that, but they've actually got a really good track. Really happy with it. Oh well, good luck for the third round. Thank you. A lot of trash talk going on over here. No, always trash talk. Hey, 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 hey. The special setup. Quick, cover up that rear end. Put the big ball Shit, you haven't got security here, Hodgie. Fuck it, ain't you? Better sort him out. <laughs> What's the go? What are you changing? I'm changing the sprocket because I was done. I felt like an AU, just like pinging at the end of the straight. Yeah. So. Changing the sprocket going down, so it's gonna rev a bit lower 
on down the straight. Yep. But, uh, yeah, kinda. Isn't that cool? So we had chain to chain, chain to sprocket. Thanks to New Much Racing for that. Um, I didn't leave it at home. Weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we should go through our, our checks and we'll go again out for the heat three. Yep. Yeah, heat three and then hopefully continue into the feature. Hopefully get a good spot. Miss heat one because we had a bit of cooling issues. Yeah. Uh, but now we feel confident in the car. We can get on the podium hopefully tonight. So just got to keep going, keep moving and feel good about it. Cool. Good luck. With a lot of changes being made, we now head back out to the track for round number three. completion of the third round, we would now like to take the opportunity to thank once again Hyper Industries for their great support of the DTN 500. And Comex Civil Excavation, Drainage and Earthworks for their fantastic support of Dirt Track Nutters. A great field line up in a four wide at the Allenbrook Speedway for the DTN 500. Takes a big crash in turn two, but gets out unharmed.
Cody Terraccio, winner of today's DTN 500 at Dunbrook Speedway. Flawless performance all day. Um, it was a dream run for you. Yeah, we got the job done. We got the, the car was good. Um, lovely little track. She's a long way around, but yeah, it's a cool track. Actually slickened off, which is really cool too. Um, yeah, good day. When it slicks off here, is it getting a little bit more technical to get the car where you would need it to be on the racetrack? Yeah, you just gotta uh, probably pedal it a little more, you know, um, you know, slow is faster, really. A um, few little tweaks on the car and yeah, away she goes. Long straights here, short corners. Um, I guess it's a case of just getting the timing right, everything right with the um, you know, revs and all that at the end of the straight so you can enter that turn and basically just have the revs nicely to pull it back out of the turn as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big believer, you know, get, get the corner entry right and you'll be fast coming out. So hit, hit your marks going in and you'll be right. Now your missus is going to be probably happier than you are that you won the DTN 500, he's been putting pressure on all week, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely, I think I might uh, wear the race suit home tonight, so uh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> all right, mate, congratulations, well done. Thanks for coming out and supporting Elbrook Speedway. Thanks to Hyper Industries. Um, we're happy that we can support you guys as well coming out, so uh, congratulations and well done. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, uh, yeah, DTN, Elbrook Speedway. Um, yeah, awesome day. Cheers. Cheers. That's it for another episode of Speedway. We'll see you in episode 18 soon.